In this video, I am going to answer the most common problem that many Bufwang UV5R owners face. Actually, owners of any two-way radios often face this problem, and that problem is, why can I hear my friend over the radio, but he or she, no, actually, let's be honest with ourselves, women do not play with radios, he cannot hear me when I transmit back. I hear them, they do not hear me. Now, just to avoid any potential confoculation, I am not referring to calling out to strangers that you hear talking, because that is a whole nother box of worms. I am talking about when you and your friend are trying to play radio, you are well within radio range, and you can hear him, but when you transmit, he cannot hear you or maybe vice versa. Either way, resulting in much sadness. And there are a few very common reasons for this, which I shall now review with you. First of all, is your radio transmitting on the correct channel or the correct frequency? This might seem obvious, but a lot of you watching right now are stupid. But let not your heart be troubled because I am going to explain all of this so that even if you took an untested vaccine in exchange for a free donut, even you will understand. It is possible that if you are listening to a channel saved as a repeater, but your friend is transmitting on a regular non-repeater channel, you might hear him and he will not hear you. So the first thing to check is to make sure that you are both transmitting on the same channel or frequency. The very next thing to check is, is your radio actually transmitting, as indicated by the red transmit light or transmit indicator on the radio? Many Bufwang UV5R radios, particularly the newer ones, are locked meaning that they can only transmit on certain frequencies. You can listen to almost any frequency, but you can only transmit on a small subset of those frequencies. You might be able to unlock your radio to transmit on more frequencies, or maybe not. If you have a Bufwang UV5R GMRS version or any GMRS radio, it will be locked and it will only transmit on GMRS channels. Notice that I said channels and not frequencies. And I said that because a GMRS radio, any GMRS radio, will only transmit in channel mode. If you are in VFO mode, meaning that you can type in a frequency, even a GMRS frequency, a GMRS radio will not transmit. Notice the lack of any transmit confirmation indicator. So the key here is to make sure that you are on a channel or frequency that your Pacific radio can transmit on and confirm that the radio is actually transmitting. The next thing to check, and this is actually the problem 98.5% of the time, does the radio that cannot hear you have a privacy tone set on it? If the receiving radio that is not receiving, has a privacy code or tone, CTCSS tone, DTC, DCS, DPL, or any kind of receive tone or code set on it, then it will not hear any other radios unless and until you go into the settings on the transmitting radio and set that same transmit tone or go into the receiving radio and remove the receive tone. Most radios have some sort of indicator on the screen to let you know that a tone is set. And allow me to be very clear, this applies even if you can hear them. I will not get into the confocularities as to why you can hear them and they can't hear you if they're using tones because I have already made multiple videos about that already. So just trust me when I say to you that I know what I am talking about. And that is why I am a YouTube's superstar and why you are just watching. So in this situation, as I mentioned only a moment ago, you must either add that tone into the transmit setting of your radio, 
or tell your little friend to remove the receive tone on their radio. If they cannot remove the tone on their radio, or they do not know what the tone is, so you can put it into your radio, or if you do not know how to put the tone on your radio, then you are simply shit out of luck. And finally, make sure that your antenna is connected to your radio. You may have noticed that during this entire video, I have been demonstrating this radio with no antenna connected. And you may have noticed that I even transmitted with no antenna connected multiple times. In despite of the claims by some people that doing so will damage the radio. And I have done this intentionally for two reasons. First of all, to prove all of those experts wrong because with the UV5R radio at least, as well as with most new low-cost handheld walkie-talkie type radios, those experts are wrong. And second of all, I did this intentionally because this is the best way to manipulate some people to leave a comment trying to show everyone how smart they think they are by trying to make me look bad. Leaving those comments thereby increases the engagement on my video, resulting in YouTube's algorithm to like my channel even more and make me even more powerful. And lucky for me, some people do not have the attention span to watch the entire video and make it up to this point, so they have no idea that they are doing exactly what I, their puppet master, has manipulated them into doing for me.